lovely people, I've got another Sims 4 build here for you. Scoop from Albi and Ashes. For anyone unfamiliar, Scoop is an ice cream shop from the 25th game in the Nate's Drew series. So when I make these builds, I like to look at gameplay. I was particularly surprised to see that Scoop is two levels. One level is the ice cream shop, and the second level we never see. Heading inside with Nancy, we see the interior ice cream parlor. Now there's the swap a lot machine, and we have the map of River Heights. There is the menu with the so many delicious flavors and moon chunk. This is also where Tony Scolari will be manning the bar counter. If you're a Nancy Drew fan or just a video game fan in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single Thursday. Past the bar into this back storage area. I wonder if Sims Nancy can pick this lock. In the game, we know that there is a door to the back, but we don't know what is behind there. We know that Tony goes back to accept deliveries, so I created a sort of stock room area, or a place that Scoop can keep their extra ice cream that's not up front. I imagine Tony and the other Scoop employees keep other items back here, like coats and napkins and coffee and such. Since I had full liberty to make whatever I wanted upstairs, I thought I made what fit best with Tony and her needs. I made a campaign center for her. I imagine this is where she spearheaded her campaign. She wanted to keep the headquarters close to her work so that she could run her business alongside this campaign. You'll notice while a lot of the desks are foldable and temporary, Tony's office is pretty decked out. I kind of get the feeling that she would be in the mentality of spare no expense when it came to her office, but then just give her staff the bare minimum. But she's not totally heartless. She has a nice little kitchen and lunch area for her staff to eat and discuss life in. It just happens to be super close to her office so she can listen in if they're saying anything bad about her. At the exterior back of the building, we have a parking spot for Tony. Here's the front patio where we can find Deirdre and Bess. Hey, while I have you here, what building should I build next? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Is it pretty close to the game? Or if you haven't played Nancy Drew Alibi in Ashes, is this an ice cream parlor you'd want to hang out at? Wait a minute, do I spy some evidence? There has got to be something incriminating in here. I want to know what is in that case file on Tony's desk. You can also find this build in the Sims Gallery under Gooba and Jetpack. Whether you're a Nancy Drew fan or not, I really hope you enjoyed this build. They're a lot of fun for me to make, and I have several if you haven't seen them already. Check us out on Twitch and Instagram, we're very active on both of those as well. That's it for me, detectives. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stay safe and sleuthy. Bye!